hello hello i am back with another video and the purpose of this video is really just to leave on my channel for me for later in my journey but i'll share with you because i know that there's somebody out there that's like me because i am the universe and so my my reflection is there so today i want to talk about the battle that we fight against we fight against with within ourselves and I'm mentioning that because you know how on my channel I say I'm evolving to Bridget from Bridget Bridget is like the higher version of me the woman that I'm becoming this this woman the look of this woman she's feminine she's soft she knows how to express herself she's divine you know the goddess would be you know she is um hmm she's on a journey coming from i guess the miss independent world you know from bridget bridget was the one who um didn't speak her truth you know she was just a little introverted little somebody and she worked hard oh she was a hard worker and she liked achievements you know and, hmm she held on to a lot of her energy especially her heart chakra energy and her throat chakra energy and and it caused this ease and disharmony in her life in the physical reality and she didn't understand why until she decided to let all of that go bridget went through a lot <laughs> bridget is the reason why bridget exists because um bridget suppressed Bridget for so long and you might be doing this too and I'm really just talking about masculine and feminine qualities that we have inside of us self-expression that we have whether we're introverted or extroverted it goes as far as looks you know whether we want the natural beauty or we want to be more maybe exotic and where we'll make a you know whether we want to work in corporate america or we want to be an entrepreneur you know there's different sides of all things that we go through in our journey even if it's a relationship whether we want to be single or be married or whatever we all vibrate at different frequencies so i'm mentioning this today because by the time that you all see this particular video i'll be done launched a new product line is not available today today is october 12th so y'all might not see this probably until like november december sometime because purposely i am holding on to my videos perfecting my line and allowing bridget to do what she wants to do because you remember like in the big that movie that um us you know the double ganger they called it there well the shadow self exists and so i'm allowing Bridget to come out and be herself and it's funny that during this journey during this time of covid or coronavirus everything has to do with crown chakra energy and <laughs> higher self energy people are collectively making this shift and probably don't even understand why there's so many shifts going on in the spiritual realm right now and a lot of people on the physical side really don't even know what's going on with them or why are they waking up or why they not eating like they used to why they whatever thing that they're doing different but it's an energetic movement that's taking place so anyway um what i was trying to say was that it's funny how like um bridget Bridget uh, is the side of me that, that wants to do the food, right, for example. And, um, and the reason why she wants to do it is because she, she wants to be the healer that she knows she is, you know, and being able to heal people through food, through the love energy. Because, you know, back in the day, it was that love energy that grandma didn't put in their food. They were still giving us toxic food but because they made it and they were making the peppers and the cornbread and whatever else they made with love and serving you love the energy of the love was being transformed people wasn't getting sick and you know toxic like they used to but right now we getting 
fast food. And nobody is preparing no fast food with no love energy. Fast food is just fast food. They don't care about no love. They're trying to get their money, you know. And so, Bridget wanted to be the change in that area. And now it's, you know, doing the COVID where well, she was trying to implement that and she went in the area where the food trucks used to be and they no longer are there. And that's what she wanted. She didn't want a brick and mortar. She just wanted the food truck, you know, and she wanted to serve people and, you know, <laughs> and just watch them come back constantly knowing that her food was healing them they wouldn't have a clue, you know, that they was eating her herbs and the spices for the healing of the nations, you know. and But they'll feel better. They'll get a better quality of life. And, you know, the regulars that will come back. And they would taste delicious because she knows how to season food really good. And that's why she wanted to do that. But in that line of business required a whole lot of work, you know, because Bridget likes to work hard. She didn't care about the food truck propane tank and employees and being in the heat and the festivals and standing on the feet all day long she didn't care about that because she had energy you know she was eating the food that was electrifying her already electric body matter of fact i have on a shirt let me sit up a little bit i have on a shirt this is um the melanated vegan uh logo and this is uh bridget <laughs> bridget on the shirt i almost 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 looking like a Trying to get my head to grow a little bit more. But anyway, so like I said, um, the food trucks weren't there. And so we have all this downtime during Corona where, you know, I'm working from home and I'm like, board.com, hence the wigs, aka helmets <laughs> that I was wearing on my head. Pretty little helmets, but it was a helmet and um you know doing different things with my hair and you know the golfing and just trying just networking just trying out different things that i probably wouldn't have time to had i been inside of the office you know because seemingly when you get out of the office or you're more drained than you are from working from home when you're working from home you you're bored you're tired of being in the house so we're just coming gun holds you when it's time to get off from working from home, you get out the house, right? Even if you don't have nowhere to go. And so, that's Bridget. That's Bridget's idea, the melanated vegan. But during this downtime, Bridget has been peeking her head out, you know, just like the double gamers when they came out from underground, so to speak. Mm -hmm. They, um, she's been picking her head out and, and making products, making a whole new line. By the time um, I post this video, um, all of my products will be available on my website. The website address is below. And so Bridget has been telling Bridget, you don't need to do that. It's too much work. <laughs> That's why it's not in alignment for you, you know, right now. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do the product line? You still are going to be helping heal the people. Because you go have your herbs <laughs> and your products. You go have your citrus fruit in your products, a blend of all of those things are gonna still heal the people. You're still dealing with oils. Hmm. <laughs> and you're still helping the people because you're helping them by allowing those herbs and, and, and citrus fruit to penetrate inside of them because you're dealing with the skin, which is the largest organ on the body. So what's the problem? You're not in the heat, in the streets. You can do this here, right now. It's not hard work. It's more feminine, more. 
more exciting, more fun, more curly. You know, that's what Bridget is saying about this here. And along this journey, you know, when I'm, <laughs> I'm on this journey, learning about my natural hair, you know, because I wore braids. When I went natural, I was, I cut it all off. And then I kept cutting, kept cutting, kept cutting, keep it low. But I decided to let it grow. But then I started putting braids on. It really wasn't getting into the understanding of our natural hair. Because, you know, we come from a place where, um, you know, we where perms exist. Prior to be cutting my hair off, my perm hair off, you know, perms, I did that. I did the jerry curl. You know, I did the hot comb. You know, my mom used to do that for me. I'm burning my little back of my ears off day before Easter every year. To flatten my hair we were always told that um why well, I, I don't want to say we i was always told in some way or another oh you got that new growth get rid of that <clears throat> easter coming you gotta i gotta do something here i can't control it so i gotta flat iron that and so many ways i was giving messages that you know this here that i was running away from that i was actually perming every three to four weeks because my hair is really really thick I don't have sides, so just imagine if I had sides, I'd probably look like a little poodle puppy. Anyway, <laughs> but I was always told, you know, that the, in, in certain forms that I need to tame this. So this to me was like something that I didn't know how to control. So now I'm learning how to style it. I'm not no stylist, but I do know about the herbs and I do know about the citrus fruits and the oils and the things that we need in it. So I got the products down packed. I just don't have the styling part. But I want to learn how to style it and put my products in it to have the whole combination because I'm about mastering self. You give me anything about me, my avatar, and I want to master it. You know, I don't want to be no dummy to my own hair. And be throwing on helmets. I mean, helmets are really cool. I'm talking about wigs when I say helmet. They are really, really cool in the physical reality. In the physical reality, I like them. I think they they have this like exotic looking style to them. They um, they maybe could entice a man, mm, but appealing to uh, maybe the sexual side. You know, they're really, really sexy. And so yeah, that's cool. It really is. But. It comes a point in your life. Where you just don't want to just be a sex symbol for a man. You want to be able to appeal. Appeal to his success. You know. You want to appeal to the. <laughs> to the other side of him. Because I mean. You could have sex with somebody for a whole hour, but guess what? You still have 23 more hours in a day. Who are you having sex with? Do you know the other side of that person, you know, outside of sex, you know? So I'm just saying is sexy is beautiful. The, 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 the unnatural, um, wigs and everything, but I just want to know me to the core of me. I can't speak for other people. And so, during this downtime, really, it really just started off with me taking my braids out and just wanting to understand why my hair not getting moisturized here. You know, I put something in it. Was it, Am I putting the wrong thing in it? And I wanted to better understand. This started off with me. I'm sharing me with you when I share my product line. You know? I just wanted to understand it, you know, and it made me realize, you know what? Back in the day, we had the jerk curls. And with jerk curls, the reason why my jerk curl was so long, I had a jerk curl all the way down my back, is because I had the right jerk curl juice, you know, which means I would have needs moisture. Just like with jerk curl, I would have needs water, you know. And so, our natural hair, outside of having a jerk curl, outside of getting the chemicals, it still needs water and moisture. Our hair not nappy. My hair is so soft. It just needs moisture. It's just dry most of the time. And we don't understand what it's craving for. Just like our body, we're 80% water. 
<laughs> I would have need water too, you know. And it's so tired of the chemicals that we put in it, that lower energy beings created for us. And so it wants life. It is on a journey too. I call my hair strong J. It's on a journey too. You know, prior to this, I shared in a previous video, I had a perm and the middle of my hair was thinning out because of the chemicals because I was permed every three to four weeks, every three to four weeks, faithfully, and it was still big hair, still big hair. <laughs> but, but our hair gets tired of that process too, just like our skin, it, it gets tired of putting that toxic lotion on, just like our stomach, it gets tired of the steak and potatoes, it wants life. It wants to electrify your electric body. It wants citrus fruits because we are tropical beings. We are children of the sun. <laughs> anyway, like I said, really this video is for me. There's really no purpose of, of this particular video outside of those that just want to hear why I'm creating a product line, why I'm wanting to <laughs> feed people healthy food because this is just my passion. This is the one thing that I know that I was born to do. Just like when I wrote my book, I talked about um, how my ancestors will wake me up in the middle of the night <laughs> and give me the words to put in that book while I was trying to go to you know the the food and selling the food and every time I would see a truck there was just something <laughs> and we all know what that something be that just made me feel like, no, I don't think that's going to be the one. And no, I, I don't feel like it's right. And no, I don't know if it's a lemon because I don't know anything about, you know, mechanics of a truck. And the kitchen would be brand new, but the truck would be old. And no, I don't want to do that. And no, I found one from here, but you can't bring trucks from the north down to the south. Because something about the snow on the road and the salt and corrosion. I don't even know what that's all about. But these are the things that I heard and these are the things that I was going through when I was trying to get the, um, the vehicle. But, but when this downtime came and I just started making products, I was just in the kitchen with love frequency, just making soaps and lotions and deodorants for me and my family. And I would go to bed at night and in the middle of the night. Just like in a biblical text in a dream. When man, he said something like, when man sleeps and slumbers in a dream or the vision of the night, God sends them their instructions in so many words, their orders or instructions, something like that in the biblical text, it says. <laughs> Same thing happened, just like when I wrote the book. I would just wake up in the middle of the night and get up in that kitchen. It's like, my higher self says, I had this to do this and I go and I do it and I'm like wow and it makes a difference in the product and and you could feel how it electrifies the body and and so it makes me think about the person just like Bridget was trying to get Bridget to understand it makes me think about the person with the kidney problems how my products being that they're putting them on the skin will help to dissolve those kidney stones. It makes me think about that diabetic <sighs> that'll be getting purged. That person with that toxic blood that their blood will begin to be, become purified. That person who's lacking fruits maybe in their, vital, in their diet. My products are high in real 
so-called vitamin C, which is really electric fruit instead of the GMO ones. And so, <laughs> you're still going to be able to heal people, you know? And that's the part. And just like Bridget felt about feeding the people, you know, the regular customers that have come back not understanding that the health is getting better and they're getting a better quality of life. Bridget A feels the same about um, the people that's going to buy her products. Especially the ones that's going to be buying like the shampoo and conditioner that's going to be awakening that crown chakra. <laughs> Giving them mental clarity. Maybe like the Alzheimer's patients, the dementia patients, you know. And that's a beautiful feeling being able to help heal people and bless people on their journey because when I bless other people, I'm blessing myself too. And because the lower version of me, Bridget didn't have somebody like Bridget. She cried many times in her closet for Bridget or somebody to tell her, what am I doing wrong? Why am I always sick? Nobody, none of the doctors that she ever went to ever told her it was her diet. Nobody had the answers even after she found out that it was a diet What what herbs to you so she went on a journey for herself So this is why I encourage you all in the physical reality to find you a passion You know lately I've been sharing with y'all about relationships on my channel But baby when you find you a passion the reason why I'm telling you this is because you find yourself on a love frequency while you're doing that passion. And if you spend your your eight hours a day on a love frequency while at work or doing your passion, you are opening up a portal of alignment with the universe because at your best you are love. So you are vibrating and communicating with source energy, your higher self, God, the angelic beings, or whatever you call it in your journey with me. I call it my higher self and source energy. And so this is why I get those messages or things that I need to add to be able to help my lower selves. And I'm really excited about my new line and everybody that will begin to purchase from me. <laughs> I'm not sure what the end gonna be like as far as Corona with lifting this um this so-called freeze and the people downtown are gonna return to work that that's you know because there's certain areas you could go in in when you have a food truck in certain areas you can't and so that particular area i don't see anything going on so i don't know what is gonna become of the food i don't know once i launch the products i don't know if the products is where i'll ultimately be if i'm not even gonna have time to cook no more but I don't know. I'm on a journey too. I'm on a journey too. And for right now, I'm doing what feels good. And I suggest you every day of your life, when you get up, you do what feels good to you. Because when you feel good, that, that's your indicator. That's letting you know that you are in alignment with your higher self. You are in alignment with source energy. When you feel good, make sure you Pay attention to the way that you feel because how you feel matters. How you feel really matters. And so, here I am. About to launch a new hairline for women and for men, you know, because men like the little product with their little beard. <laughs> men have little bald spots in their head too. Men need these herbs and citrus fruit too. This is for melanated beans. You know, because it's time out for us to be doing what other beans are doing. You know, it ain't my fault that people 
we different. <laughs> it's not my fault. We all know about the blue-eyed and the brown-eyed being. We all know about the recessive and the dominant trait being. We all know about different blood types. Come on, let's not be crazy. I'm not trying to be ugly with any type of people, but we cannot continue in a physical reality using the same products as other beings for our hair, for our face, for our skin, because our our skin, our hair, <laughs> it's not like other beings. Our blood not even like other beings. Come on now. When they doing that blood work in the hospital, sometimes they ain't even talking about you. They'll tell you your your range, your blood is out of range in a certain category. But guess what? They, the range does not reflect a melanated being anyway. So who, who, they're not even talking to you. And now you worried about some kind of test being out of range. So my product, I'm talking to you. <laughs> My product was created for you because you represent a melanated being like me. So I know if it's going to electrify me and heal me, I know it's going to heal and electrify you. I know if it's going to bring moisture and allow my curls to come popping out, I know it's going to make yours pop out too. You see? So, like I said, I'm not a hairstylist. I, I do what I know how to do in my bathroom to, to make my curls come out, make me look presentable. <laughs> but I'm learning. And that's all it's about. It's about um, being able to learn and master self in every aspect of the way. And so wait, let me get a little, let me see if I can get a little closer so y'all can see. Is the camera going to show me? There it go. To shine the light on the, the moisture in my head. I know it's great products and it's not just, you know, it moisturizing. It's beyond what it's going to do as far as moisturizing your hair, babe. It's beyond that. It's, 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 it's to the point of healing your body. It's the point of, um... You get in the nourishment that you need in expelling all of the mucus and toxicity that is in everything. Toxicity, chemicals everywhere in our water. <laughs> in the medication that they give you. In the little so-called juices that you're drinking. It's, it's a bunch of chemicals. And the so-called food that you're eating too. Shoot, sure. when you go use the bathroom and if you're female and you wipe your butt with certain toilet paper, baby. <laughs> it's in the toilet paper too. You get a nice little yeast infection from certain toilet papers. They have so many estrogen mimickers in, in everything. And so we just be walking around just a big toxic factory. Especially if our bowel movement is, you know, clogged up. You, you know, we're not drinking water and urinating things out and not softening it or decalcifying it and allowing it to flow with like key limes or citrus fruit, you know. So that's why I com combine the two herbs and citrus fruit in my product because a true healer know you need a combination of both of them. <laughs> And for some people, they'll consume like um, a bunch of herbs and it'll be something that'll cause them to be constipated. The citrus fruits is the thing that'll really get things flowing. We're tropical beings. We're tropical beings and we gotta get back to the foundation of who we are, no matter where we're located. I once heard a, a poet say, um, when in Rome, you do what wrong men do. <laughs> and so even though we're scattered around the universe in different places, let's not continue to do what wrong men are doing with our hair, with our health, with our skin, 
with our consciousness, with any of our talents. Let us stop doing what wrong men do. And let's just become the greatest version of ourselves no matter where we are. Because a God can be a God anywhere. All you have to do is tap back into the divine that's within you. And that's the part that I would love to help you with. In any case, this video was to talk about Bridget and Bridget and the journey that we have been on. There is no one that is better. There is no one that is so-called wrong. They are two of the same that are on a journey. Just doing what at that time felt right or felt good to them. And so I'm allowing both of them to have a season, just like in this shift, just like in the biblical text. There's a time and season for everything under the sun. And so I'm allowing both of them to have their season. <laughs> Bridget is really trying to say, Bridget, your season to rule is no more. Go sit down with that. <laughs> but in any case, I'm just really enjoying the ride and uh, creating my legacy along the way. Wanting to leave something behind for my grandchildren. <laughs> For my boys, for my maybe my great grandchildren. Yeah. This is what I would like to leave behind the fact that Source Energy gave me this passion, this ability to be a healer and to be tapped in. And a lot of people at the beginning thought that I was crazy. Thought that I was losing my mind. But like Vintage say, sometimes it got lose to win again. I did lose that old mind, but I've gained so much of mental clarity and knowledge about the physical and the people that look like me talk like me and the people that I stem from and I just want to share that knowledge with everybody that allowed me to yeah I want to share myself because I'm shared is caring I'm sorry I'm getting emotional y'all I don't know if I'm gonna post this video but I had to get this out um Sharon is caring. And you know, like in the biblical text, they say, um, I think it was Jesus. He was maybe the parable of him being about to get crucified or something. It says, if it be thy will, <laughs> take this cup from me. In my journey of all the things that I've gone through, whether it was, um, The beginning when I was being called through my dreams up until this point the passion that was placed in my heart for other people I would often feel that way I would often say if it be thy will take this cup from me I used to say that a lot because I found myself like really caring more about people than they seemingly cared about themselves until I realized that no it's not your job to be all things to be to all people it's not your job to be all things to all people so it's energy is in you the ones and then you help the ones who truly want to help themselves 
And so now I don't no longer feel like, you know, take this cup, take this passion, take this, 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 this love <laughs> for me. I don't feel like that anymore. I just, I now feel like, you know what? This is my call and this is my purpose. This is the very thing that I know that I was born to do and I've embraced it. And I know that everybody that comes into my life is purposeful. And I'm thankful to be in a position to be here to help other people. That's what energy bring my way. And you know, a lot of healers that I know have come to this place in their journey because they once needed to be healed from something, you know. And so oftentimes that be the thing to shake them, to get them in alignment to where they need to be, a sickness or disease or disharmony. Some of them I know even had deadly issues, you know. I am thankful that that I was just someone that was just inquisitive of why I was just always just tired and just constantly getting sick and gaining weight and having acne. I'm, I'm thankful that my situation was me being on a journey yearning for more. I'm thankful that I'm in a situation where I can help other people. I'm thankful that I embraced my calling and I didn't have to be shook so hard to like maybe diseases or disharmonies, you know, that was detrimental to me. And so I just wanted to share that with you all. <laughs> the, um, the struggle between Bridget and Bridget, both being on the journey, both becoming a greater version of themselves both never getting it wrong they never can get it wrong so you too no matter where you are in your journey you never can get it wrong but just embrace both sides the totality of who you are let both sides shine if you're a woman who is a uh, knowingly masculine some days try to embrace, embrace your feminine side because she exists if she's if you're feminine there's some situations where you have to embrace your masculine side because she exists embrace the totality of who you are and love every part of you and get on love frequency and stay there as long as you can and doors will be open to you it is my promise portals will open to you when you're vibrating on love I'm trying to make sure I share everything with you all on this particular video so I don't have to resurface it. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident I did. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. This video, like all of my videos, is from my heart to yours. Explaining why I have this product line. Why I do the vegan food. Why? Because the passion is in me. It's who I am to the core of who I am. And I can only give to you 
people in general can only give to you what's inside of them. Be blessed, babe. From my heart to yours. Have a good day.